back to my YouTube channel, everyone. Today we're going to be showing you your first lesson in archery. So what I do is I have a little training bow, right? Just a little starter bow. And for the arrows, you can have maybe an old backpack. They all fell out. You can maybe have an old backpack like this, right? And you'll put them really close. The two zip, every backpack has two zippers, but the two zippers like really close to each other, and stick all of the arrows inside of it, so you can always have the arrows on you. Now, you're probably wondering, how much is in an air, like arrows? Well, if, if you don't have, because some bows come with arrows, but if you need to buy some, then yeah. I saw uh, all the arrow prices. Plastic ones like this is like two, four, five dollars. This one was two dollars, but the better one is like four or five or six dollars. Probably the best one's like eight dollars. But yeah, it's a plastic one. Obviously, you can't like hunt with this because it's a training. But because obviously, normal like ones for like killing animals and hunting is like they're like the tips are like really sharp. But since this is just training, it's just like you know, circle. You can still hit things. I have a target. Right, but I'm pretty sure that would break my wood arrows. Wood arrows are like a dollar. This is a dollar. Obviously, they break really easily. If you look on this one, I've used this one the most. There's red on it from a, a stain over there on the pop. I used a pop can, but um, oh yeah, this one also has a cut on it. Like it broke somewhere. Let me try to find which arrow. It was a wood arrow. Here it is. You obviously see all the stains on it. I cleaned it. You gotta clean your arrows when you're done using them, on like on the tip and everything, because you don't want your arrow getting messed up. So I clean mine. It's just, there's a crack on it, but no, it's not broken. You can still use it. So let's show you what we do. So put it in, so you can like do this. Stick them in the bag. I don't know how much the bow was I got for my birthday a few years ago. And then just. Ta da! Hey, uh, so if you keep practicing soon enough one day, you'll be better than Robin Hood and Mary Duh. All combined. So. You just grab something, you can grab maybe an empty pop can or a cardboard box or anything. Like that. And you're gonna grab behind it like so. And then when you grab it, like that. Hold on, there's something on my camera. So, yeah, if you want to, it's kind of trickier to put it back. Sometimes the bag on zips, so you might have to check on it. So, once you grab it, the back of you, it's really not that hard to grab. I really hope I don't have to show you guys <laughs> Grab an arrow. You just, yeah, you just grab an arrow. When you're done, put it back, obviously. I'm trying to look for a specific one. Okay, this one. There we go. We're gonna use that arrow. There's nothing special about it. I'm just it's just it's just mo most broken. So I'm just gonna use the most broken one. I don't know why. Then if you if, when you're shooting, you don't want to have this on. Well, you can have it on. It's just if you're a beginner and just learning, you probably shouldn't have it on because it could mess up your aim. Also, when you're shooting, never have long sleeves on with the training bow. I'm not gonna put this on because if you have it on, if you get yeah, a normal one like an actual one that holds your arrows, yes, you can wear that, but. Don't wear a backpack because it all, uh, could unzip and, and let all your arrows and out and then mess up. So when you do this, to have a training bow, you should have these, right? And you're going to push this one up, right? And put the arrow, this part right, right there. And you're going to hear the knot. Okay, you're going to hear it. You're going to hear like something that goes like, okay, you're going to hear just like a vibration kind of. And you're going to put it right here like this right on this thing. And then you're gonna put your two fingers like this. 
here. Pull back like so. You have to just pull it back, pull it back to your cheek, okay? Now pull back, pull it all the way back to your cheek. And when you're aiming, pretty easy, you'll figure it out. You'll, uh, when you pull it back to your cheek, that how to aim is your arrow should be pointing in the direction of the object you want to hit, and since your face is right there, you can see where the arrow is going to hit. You set your bow down, like this, right? And you're gonna put your foot like this. So when it's on the ground, you're gonna put put your foot up like this, like, right? Put it down, you're gonna put your foot on the object and pull, like this. I don't know if that's actually how you do it. I just learned that in gym class. But that's how you're supposed to do it. 